Hi, I'm Dr. Divya Fernandez, consultant cardiologist at Astor RV Hospital, Bangalore. Today I would like to talk to you about peripartum cardiomyopathy. This is also called postpartum cardiomyopathy. Peripartum or postpartum cardiomyopathy means disease of your heart muscle in the last month of pregnancy or up to 5 months post delivery. This is a rare form of heart disease and it is very uncommon. However, we are seeing its rise quite frequently, especially in urban cities. The cause of the same is unknown and it is unclear. It can be because of some inflammatory disorder or it can be because of a previous viral illness. However, most of the time we do not find a cause for this. There are various risk factors which can put pregnant women at risk for the same. If you have multiple pregnancies, if you have twins, triplets, if you are an elderly primary, that is when you are pregnant for the first time about the age of 35 or 40 years of age, if you are obese, if you have diabetes, high cholesterol, if you smoke, if you consume alcohol or if you have had a past history of peripartum cardiomyopathy or even diabetes in your previous pregnancy, there is a risk of having a heart disease during your end of your pregnancy. Hence, a regular monitoring with your gynecologist is advised. The symptoms of peripartum cardiomyopathy is because your heart is becoming weak. Cardiomyopathy means the heart muscle has become weak and because of which your heart becomes weak and big. The pumping of your heart reduces and there is fluid congestion all over your body. You start developing fluid in your lungs, in your lower limbs, in your abdomen, decrease urine output and because of this you start becoming breathless, short walks become difficult, climbing stairs become difficult. Some of them can have breathlessness when they lie down. You can also have irregular or fast heartbeat which are called palpitations. You can have chest pain occasionally. Swelling most common in your legs, facial puffiness can be seen as well as excessive weight gain other than your normal pregnancy weight gain may also be seen. How do you prevent this? So prevention can be by living a healthy lifestyle during your pregnancy. Avoid excessive or unnecessary weight gain. Speak to your gynecologist as well as your dietitian about the same. Regular exercise as much as you can do as advised by a gynecologist will help you in the long run to have a safe pregnancy and safe delivery. Reduce your salt intake. Keep your fluids only as advised. Do not take excess fluids or do not decrease your fluids unnecessarily. Reduce your fatty food intake and reduce your high carbohydrates or high sugar intake. If you are diagnosed with peripartum cardiomyopathy, you will be admitted to the hospital or if you have symptoms like breathlessness, chest pain, swelling, please visit the hospital. An ECG will be done and an echocardiogram will be done which will tell you how your heart functioning is. Peripartum cardiomyopathy is diagnosed if we have three criteria. One, the heart failure or the heart pumping which is reduced is diagnosed in the last month of pregnancy or in the first five months of post delivery. Your ejection fraction or the heart pumping is less than 45% and there is no other cause of heart failure in the same. Once you are diagnosed with peripartum cardiomyopathy, if you have severe breathlessness, you will be admitted. Otherwise, you will be started on medications both oral as well as IV, mainly to reduce the congestion in your lungs and in your limbs. This will remove all the excess fluid buildup which is present and help you to breathe better as well as so that you can walk and do your activities better. Tablets will be prescribed to you to keep your heart functioning in control, your blood pressure as well as your heart beats in control. A lot of women can have irregular heart rate, so tablets too reduce this irregular heart rate and to make your heart rate normal are also prescribed. Plus tablets to keep your heart functioning safer and in the normal limits so that you do not develop this in the next, next pregnancy are also given to you. Nearly 70% of women recover in the first 6 months post your diagnosis of peripartum or post -card uh, postpartum cardiomyopathy. However, 
around 15 to 20 percent women do not improve in spite of all the medications as well as lifestyle modification and also remember once you had peripartum cardiomyopathy there is a high risk that your next pregnancy or the future pregnancies you may develop peripartum or postpartum cardiomyopathy so please kindly work in closely with your doctors your gynecologist your physicians as well as your cardiologist we at aster rv work closely in connection with the obg team the cardiologist as well as the obg team along with the dietitian and physiotherapist so that you can have a safe delivery and also if you are diagnosed with peripartum or postpartum cardiomyopathy we give you good tips about lifestyle modifications as well as treatment of the same thank you